While high school football teams are in playoff mode, high school basketball teams are just beginning their seasons. Despite the effects of Hurricane Michael on local gyms and therefore preseason schedules, teams are still finding a way to get a ball in their hands. The Rutherford boys basketball team is coming off a 22 and 5 season, looking to continue the trends of competitive play that the program is known so well for. This year, preparation looking a bit different, though. The Rutherford gym has suffered damage from Michael, so the guys are clocking their practice hours at Rosenwald. Rutherford head basketball coach Rondi Ross says getting everyone together in one place to practice can be difficult, considering the less than ideal circumstances. It's been a little tough with the logistics of getting people here before school got in, and now we have to carpool from Rutherford after, high, uh, after school gets out, and we got to come here. You know, the high schools are providing like a uh, like to go lunches or whatever, like like literally it's brown paper bag like back in the day. So they get you know they get a little bit of food, they snatch that up, we jump in our vehicles and we come down here and we practice. However, not all things leading up to the regular season are different. The boys preseason tip off classic that the Rams normally host being one of them. This is the 10th year in a row for the Jamboree. Players hitting the hardwood Monday and Tuesday of next week. Bay, Mosley, Rutherford, Bozeman, Graceville and Port St. Joe will all be hitting the hardwood this year. This one's out at Bozeman. Ross says he's just happy to get the guys back in the gym. People love to use the word uh, normalcy, you know, so it's something that the kids get to do out of, you know, looking at all the destruction and stuff like that from the storm. Um, I'm just glad that we're going to have a season because I know, you know, after the storm, um, after a few days, I started contacting the players and they were asking me, are we going to have a season and all this kind of stuff. So, you know, thank goodness.